And on to a war that Japan is waging. The enemy is tiny, but it is wreaking havoc in the country. And the country's prime minister has promised to fight back. Are you confused? Well, I am talking about the war against Poland that the country has declared. Poland levels in Tokyo have risen to their highest in a decade, making hay fever a huge cause of concern. First things first, what is hay fever? Hay fever is an allergic reaction to pollen, typically when it comes into contact with your mouth, nose, eyes, your throat. Symptoms of hay fever including sneezing and coughing, a runny or blocked nose, itchy, red or watery eyes. And now in Japan, as soon as the cedar and cypress trees start shedding their pollen, around 40% of Japanese have to deal with hay fever symptoms. Symptoms like itchy, watery eyes, even sneezing, around 40% of them. No wonder then that hay fever has been called a national disease. And the country's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, has said that hay fever has become a quote-unquote social problem. And he has promised action, including working with the ministers to come up with a way to get results. In fact, even though the Wuhan virus guidelines were lifted in the country and people no longer have to wear face coverings to safeguard themselves against COVID-19, a lot of the people continue to wear masks when they are outdoors because of the latest outbreak of hay fever. In fact, the Poland season this year has also caused a spike in the demand for nasal sprays, even protective glasses. Recently, the country's environment ministry had some bad news to share. It said that Tokyo and 11 other prefectures would witness their highest cedar pollen counts for 10 years. In a 2020 study of Japanese hay fever sufferers, about 80% had said the symptoms made them less productive. And this, by the way, is not the only war that Japan is waging. It is also dealing with the worst ever bird flu outbreak. As a result, egg prices are skyrocketing. Poultry flocks, of course, are severely impacted. And now the country is running out of space to bury dead chickens. Why is that? Because more than 17 million birds have been killed across the country this season. More than 17 million of them. Chickens are culled to prevent the risk of bird flu crossing over to other animals and human beings. And it is extremely important to dispose of the carcasses properly, you know, so that the spread of the virus can be prevented. Also, so that the water supplies do not get contaminated. Some regions, in fact, are addressing this issue by securing other plots of land or by incinerating the carcasses. But not all of them have enough capacity to incinerate so many carcasses. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.